Hi, my name's Andy Scott. This is my sculpture, Agestes Aqua. Sculpture's made from galvanised steel. There's a 10 millimetre steel bar frame and it's covered in 5 mil steel plate sections which have been welded to it in the mosaic technique that you see and then uh, fully galvanised. And the base section, as you can see there, is uh, made of uh, galvanised steel pipe. Uh, sculpture was made at my workshop up in Carumban in Queensland. It took just over a month to make, but it took 20 years to learn how to make it that quickly. <laughs> um, uh, it's uh, made from a technique uh, like a mosaic. I, I drew out the form and the floor of the workshop and then uh, built up the in interior armature that you see maybe through there in 10 mil steel. Then over the top of that the mosaic uh, was applied and painstakingly welded together. And uh, the chain that you see here represents the link from the ocean to the land. Obviously ship's chains. The bell there is the, the warning at the lighthouse. And the compass points up north to indicate the sailing and the uh, navigation uh, of the ocean out to the east there. So the sculpture that you see has uh, several uh, elements and symbols in it, uh, the most prominent of which is probably the compass at the top there. It's uh, based on the ancient Windrose, which was a navigation system they used in the ancient sailing days. It's based on uh, the symbols rather than the traditional north, south, east, west. These uh, represent the winds, the north wind, the east wind and the west wind, etc. Uh, based around the points uh, of that uh, circular piece at the top there. So obviously that has a bearing on the navigation and the ocean in front of us. Uh, which is obviously a, an unavoidable part of the location. So the other strong uh, reference points are the chain and the bell here, which uh, are symbolic, obviously, the ship's bell to do with the, uh, the sailing ships and uh, the, the boats that would go past here. And, of course, the idea of the warning at the lighthouse, warning people of the cliffs and the uh, impending perils around us. And the other thing, the chain, obviously, is the uh, ship's chains, connection with drag chains, shipbuilding, obviously all those other seagoing connections and the idea really is that the chains tie into the land so is that association with being at the edge of the continent and being physically attached to the land but facing out to sea and, uh, and the ocean and the endless expanse in front of them. Uh, most of my work is based in Scotland where I have another workshop and do a lot of work up there in the northern hemisphere, Scotland, England, Spain and Italy but uh, I've done six or seven pieces in Australia now, this is the seventh. Uh, a couple of exhibitions down at Bondi and a few private commissions about the place. Um, but it's, uh, it's really good to be here, down especially at this location. And hopefully this piece will lead on to developing my portfolio over in Australia further. And uh, who knows what other commissions might come along. But it's, uh, it represents pretty much the way I work. It's a figurative sculpture. I like to make recognisable objects, figures and animals. And I like to try and invest them with some kind of a mythology or some resonance for the location and the reason that they're, they're there. Sometimes that's led by the client, other times that's led by the location. In this instance, as an exhibition, it's obviously led by the location and that's why it has those elements of symbolism that I uh, mentioned previously. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to be here and part of the first uh, Artscape exhibition. I hope there's many more and I hope I'm part of uh, further exhibitions, but it really is. It's an incredible location and uh, I'm really delighted to have been asked, invited to make a piece for the show. I'm very happy with how he's come out and uh, so far the response of the audience has been very favourable and I only hope that that continues in the duration of the exhibition. It's a real thrill to be part of a show like this and as I said earlier to extend my portfolio in Australia and to be amongst all these other very talented artists who are on display during the show. It's uh, an excellent location and uh, I'd like to thank the organisers and uh, obviously all the other people involved in the exhibition.